Manage Online's Workflow Scheduler allows you to schedule existing repair orders against available man hours in your shop. Set up the number of bays in your shop and hours of each day and you'll be able to see all your existing repair order work for each day in one location. So let's set up our scheduler. We'll go to Setup, User Options and Schedule. In Schedule Settings, enter the available number of work hours for each day, which is the number of technicians in your shop times their available work hours per day. So for example, if a shop has three technicians who each have 12 bookable hours available each day, except on a Saturday when they each have three hours, then your schedule would look like this. You can also color code work in the scheduler by either the repair order status or the work type. Now note, if you're going to use color code repair order by status, you must first define the category, code, description and color in codes and status. And if you're going to use the color code repair order by work type, you must first define the code, description and color in codes and then work types. So let's enable our time slots. Enter the start time and end time for the shop's workday. This will create a grid on the schedule of each hour in 15 minute increments. This does not affect nor is affected by available hours which we entered earlier. You can set your workflow scheduler to hide any repair orders that you've marked as complete. Simply disable the time slots function and you can enable this hide an RO feature. Under repair order information, you can select the information you wish to display on each of three lines of the repair order schedule entry. So for example, we'll click on the drop down list and we'll select make for line one. We'll choose repair order status in line two and we'll choose customer name for line three. Click add. Make now appears as the first item on line one. On the scheduler, the information will appear like this. Schedule bay display. You can show up to six bays on the scheduler. Each bay can be renamed as you need. You can also reorder how bays two through six appear on the scheduler from left to right by moving them up or down in the list. Note that the first bay in the list is set and cannot be moved. Well, using the workflow scheduler to keep track of your existing repair orders is really that easy.